Hey everyone, Tiffany here with a Final Cut Pro X quick and simple tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slow motion feature in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the clip that I'm using that I'm working with. Um, this was filmed at 60 frames per second. If you are going to use the slow motion feature, I recommend shooting at 60 frames per second or higher if you want to slow it down even more. Uh, if you if you shoot at 60 frames per second rather than 24 or 30 frames per second, you will not lose any quality depending on how slow you put it, but you can slow it down to 24 frames per second and you won't lose any quality there. Okay, so first you want to find the spot where you want the slow motion to begin and then you want to hit B on your keyboard or choose the blade option from the drop down and then cut the video at the spot that you selected and then find the spot where you want the slow motion to stop and then again cut the video with the blade and then you can either hit A on your keyboard or choose from the drop down select and then you just want to highlight that clip and come over to the retime button choose the first option is slow and you have three choices 50 25 or 10 percent if you if you filmed at 60 frames per second you want to go at 50 percent and then you can go higher or lower than 50 percent and i'll show you how to do that in one second here's the clip at 50 percent so you'll notice it it runs very smoothly and you don't see any real quality issues okay the rule of thumb here with slow motion and 60 frames versus 24 frames is if you move the 50% down more, you can go to about 40% and that will put your shot at about 24 frames per second. So you can go anywhere between 40% to 100% and you won't be losing any actual quality in your shot. But as you see, if you try to change it from the drop down, you still only have those three choices. So what you need to do is you need to click this button here and hold it down and then drag it. As you drag it, you'll see the number decrease. You can also increase it, like I said, or you can go below 40 if you want. So here is that same clip at 40% or roughly 24 frames per second. And as you can see, it still has great quality and it's just a little bit slower. If you do want to choose a slower option, you can, but you will start to notice that the quality is starting to lack. So I went ahead and made an example here at the 25% mark. And if you look closely, you'll notice the um, quality is not all there. If you can look at the deck wood, you can see that it gets a little bit shaky so I don't recommend going below 40 unless, again, if you're shooting at something higher than 60 frames per second, such as 120 frames or even 1,000 frames per second for super slow motion. But I would stick to about 40% if you want the best and slowest shot without losing any quality. So that's how you use the slow motion feature in Final Cut Pro. And if you have any questions or concerns, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.